So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I groom Brenny and clip her nails. Um, this is not a fun process. I honestly dread doing it, but it's something that has to be done. So this is kind of our little routine for when we have to do it. Um, so I do bring Brenny into our laundry room and set her up on the washer with a towel um, so that she's not like slipping around everywhere. Um, I start by just letting her hop around a little bit, see her surroundings, and then I'm going to start grooming her really gently. Brenny really doesn't shed bad at all, um, but I'm just using the hair buster and gently kind of going over um, everything and just making sure there's no loose fur. Um, I want to make a disclaimer that I'm not holding her really tightly and I'm not pulling on her fur. Um, as you can see, the comb is like horizontal to her body, so like it's not poking her at all. I'm being really, really gentle. And um, as you can see here in a second, she's giving me kisses while I'm doing this. So although she doesn't really enjoy it, um, she still loves me, so she's totally content. <laughs> Okay, now it is time to move on to the part that is not fun at all, which is nail clipping. Um, Brenny and I both hate this. So what I'm doing here is I'm carefully trying to cover her head with the towel. This kind of calms her down and just holds her in one spot so that she's not moving around. And I find that when I do this and she can't like see the nail clipper, she is a lot, lot calmer. Um, so I'm not holding her really tightly here, even if it may look like it. I'm really holding her very gently. Um, and she still has plenty of breathing room and everything, but that's really the only way I've found that I can get her front nails clipped because, like I have said, she just absolutely hates this. Um, and like I said, not a fun process for me. So uh, taking a coffee break, uh, giving Brenny a little break, and then... As you can see guys, she's not super stressed out, like she's still grooming herself, she gives me lots of kisses through the whole process, um, I'm giving her treats, so she's totally fine, so you don't need to come at me <laughs> for anything. So here I'm actually clipping um, some of the back nails while she's just sitting there. Now you, if you're gonna do this, you have to be really, really careful. Um, Brenny acted dramatic here like I cut the nail too short, which I didn't. I looked at it, there wasn't any blood, she was totally fine. Um, Brenny does have dark nails, so you cannot see the quick, which if you don't know, is the blood vessel inside the nail. And if you cut it too short, it'll cut that, it'll be painful for the rabbit, it'll bleed. Um, so you gotta be really careful of that. Thankfully today we didn't cut the quick on any of her nails which is super good um always try to stick with just cutting off a little bit don't try to push it too much um and always reward your bunny throughout the process um again i just like to say i'm not a professional so um this is just how i clip bernie's nails so i'm not guaranteeing this is going to work for your bunny um, as you can tell, Brenny is very hyper and she doesn't like sitting still, she doesn't like being restrained. Um, so this is not a fun process for her, but I think we've kind of come to a way that works um, without too much struggle. As you can see here, I tried to stand her up to clip back nail and she does not like that, so um, it didn't work. Also, Brenny doesn't like her back feet touched like at all. She's somewhat okay with her front feet feet to being held but she does not like her back feet touched so that makes it even more of a struggle um here i'm trying to get the other front foot to clip those nails and that was a struggle because i'm left-handed so clipping the right front foot is easy but clipping the left front foot is kind of difficult so we're just trying to get it here um and she kept backing out, which as you can see, I'm not holding her super tight. She's able to back away if she's really stressed. Um, and here I'm getting a little bit frustrated, as you can see. But If your rabbit's getting really stressed out, I would recommend just taking a little break. Um, as you can see here, I give Brenny a lot of breaks, give her a treat. Um, if you're curious, I'm giving her dried apple peels here. Um, 
just let them move around a little bit, whatever they want to do. Um, and just don't try to hold them down the whole time because that's going to stress them out a lot more. If they're getting really, really stressed, I would say just put them back in their enclosure and come back another day and try it again. Um, because you don't want to stress your rabbit out too much. Also, I am kind of picking up Brenny a lot here, but like I've said, she's she is not mad at me. Um, she doesn't necessarily enjoy it, but it's something that has to be done. And if I don't restrain her, then it can end up really bad and I could end up cutting, accidentally cutting her nails really short and her ending up in a lot of pain. So we don't want that to happen. Um, and you've just got to kind of experiment with different things, see what works for your rabbit. Like I said, for, for Brenny, what really helps is um, covering her face so that she can't see. That really calms her down a lot. Um, and here we had to try a few times because she kept jerking out of the towel, but I finally got it and I got that, um, all those nails on that foot clipped. Um, I don't have enough time to like go over all of my tips and tricks and all the little details you need to know for clipping your rabbit's nails um, in this video, but I'm going to try to link some uh, informational videos down below for you guys to go watch if you um, have never clipped your rabbit's nails before or if you just feel like you need some more help with it. Also, if you really just can't get it, um, you could also try having a second person help you, like restrain the rabbit while you clip the nails. Um, also another option is just going to a vet and having them do it if you really just can't uh, get it safely. Um, but uh, yeah, here is Brenny with her beautifully clipped nails. And <laughs> um, now I'm going to weigh her. So. We don't have a baby scale. We don't have like a really good scale for weighing her. So we literally use this uh, food scale. I know it looks hilarious, um, but I just carefully set her in there for literally a second. Um, and she was about four pounds. So yeah, I just like to check her weight to make sure she's not like losing a bunch of weight or gaining a bunch of weight. Um, it's just kind of a nice thing to keep an eye on. Also, one more thing that I completely forgot to mention is never lay your rabbit on their backs. Um, they go into what is called toxic shock syndrome, and it basically is they're literally scared for their life and just sit perfectly still and don't move. And although this may seem like, oh my gosh, it's the perfect thing to do because they'll just hold still and like clip all their nails, it's really not good for them. It's never advised you should do that. Um, so yeah, do not put your rabbit on their back. There are much safer ways to clip their nails. Um, but yeah, here's Brenny eating a little piece of banana for her reward for doing so good. Um, I think this session only took about 15 minutes to do, 10 or 15 minutes, so it was a really good day. It's not super fun, but I'm really glad it turned out the way it did, and it was a good day. So, yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below, and I will do my best to answer them. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon.